$10,000. That's what a life is worth to the cigarette industry. A cigarette company makes about one cent profit per cigarette sold, meaning one million cigarettes need to be smoked until one person dies. Our body has remarkable healing tools. Only decades later, you realize the side effects of your current decisions. If you smoke a cigarette, it often takes years for your lungs to fail. If you sleep on a cheap mattress, it often takes years until you feel back pain. If you eat meat, it often takes years until your arteries are clogged. Heart disease is our current leading cause of death. The main risk factor of heart disease are dietary factors, meaning humans do not eat what they are supposed to eat. But what are humans supposed to eat? A tool for finding out which diet is best for animals is comparing their digestive system with their functional body size. And if you compare the digestive systems of humans with their functional body size, humans land on the frugivore spectrum. Meaning humans have apparently evolved to eat fruits. And there are some facts underlying this statement. Your body doesn't have an enzyme to produce vitamin C, which means you have to consume vitamin C in your diet. And vitamin C is only found in plants. Along with vitamin C, fruits also contain other essential nutrients for your body. A very important nutrient is carbohydrate. Your body depends the most on carbohydrates or sugar because it is the main fuel for your brain. In fact, it is so dependent on carbohydrates that in your mouth you have an enzyme called amylase that is able to split up carbohydrates or sugar immediately. On top of that, your eyes can see a wide array of colors. And your capability to see the colors as you do now was developed by your food choices. These red berries that you see are not objectively red. In fact, your brain only tells you that they are red based on the information that the cells in your eyes provided. Some animals have night vision, some see infrared lights. But we, on the other hand, we have the capability to see the colors in delicious fruits. Now, I want you to take a moment out and honestly look in the mirror. Are you a predator? You don't have claws, you don't have the right teeth to rip apart an animal. If you put a rabbit in front of a kid, the first reaction of the kid will be to one, either cry or two, pet the rabbit. If the kid starts killing the rabbit or ripping the rabbit in pieces, let me know. Or better, let a therapist know. We may have evolved long opposable thumbs to manufacture hunting tools, but thumbs can also be used to grab berries or form a fist when fighting with other humans or communicate. Put yourself in the shoes or feet of our ancestors for one second. If you have the choice of eating some fresh fruits that literally grow right out of the dirt or build tools using valuable calories that you need to survive, then hunting down an animal for hours using valuable calories again, and then taking your time out to cook the food. When hunting down bigger animals, there's even a chance of losing an important member of your tribe. And how long can you store raw meat again? A couple hours? Trust me, you would always, if you did not absolutely have to, choose the fruit option. Because it is just way easier. Humans are capable of hunting though, and humans are able to digest animal products. This was of course very important in surviving ice ages. And that's why humans are per definition classified as omnivores. But humans, on the other hand, also have the ability to smoke. Should we be classified as smokers now? 
just because we have the ability to do so. We live in a time where we can simply go to a supermarket and pick and choose the foods we want to eat. So we might as well pick the foods that seem to be good for us. Hey you, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for your time and also thank you for your trust. I wish you a great day.